before we do the performance custom class, let's bring up Steve Lamott from Yamaha. He's the district manager, and I'd like Steve to tell us a little bit about what Yamaha has in plans in terms of customization. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. I just want to uh, welcome everybody here today to the show, and uh, a lot of great looking bikes out there. I just want to thank all the builders. You all did a great job. And uh, you know, on behalf of Yamaha, thank you. And it kind of ties in with our theme of uh, we build it, you make it your own, and we just want to keep that going. And great job, thank you. Thanks, Steve. We really appreciate it. So if you could stay up here and hand out these trophies. All right, for our fourth place, um, this gentleman put out a really big effort. Um, it's our number 26 entry from built by JDA Custom and owned by Victor Jankowitz. Josh is coming up to accept this award. This is an O2 Suzuki GSXR with chrome by JDA, paint by Joe P at JK, uh, JP Customs, had the extended swing arm with NOS, very nice looking bike. Thanks Josh. Well you know Josh, maybe I'll just come back up here. This is kind of a unique situation here. Um, you know, this is our first year of the show, and I want to give a little special recognition to Josh. He actually came here, he called me up, said, Bob, I want to support the show. I know what you guys are trying to do. He brought four motorcycles down. He does excellent work, um, and he just plays very well. And, and rather than overworking him and have him come back up and down and everything like that, JDA Customs, this is the first time this has ever happened in the Ultimate Builder Shows, they have taken fourth place, we just know, third place with their 01 Yamaha R6 with one off swing arm and custom wheels. Um, and they've also taken the runner up position with his number 27 entry, which is an 07 Suzuki GSXR, just beautiful with a uh, chrome by JDA. They do all the polishing and chrome work, they take care of the paint. He had chrome side covers with a clutch view window. I mean, unbelievable details. And, you know, the judging, just so you understand the way the judging works here, is the builders judge their own bikes. So you can't judge your own class, but you do judge the others. We also have guest judges that come in. So each bike is voted individually. So this happened, and he was compared every time against all the bikes. And this is quite a feat to pull off fourth, third, and runner-up position. So we're very proud and pleased to have Josh as part of our show. Thank you very much, Josh. So he gets a bunch of these things. You may have to. This is Bob Kay from the Ultimate Builder Bike Show here in Minneapolis. I have with me Josh Lee from JDA Customs. Um, Josh was uh, talked to me a little while before the show started. Said he had some bikes to bring down. He wanted to support our show. Well, yeah, he brought some bikes down. All right, he brought down four bikes, and they were all one as good as the other. Unbelievable quality bikes. First time ever somebody took runner-up through third position and fourth position. So, Josh, I um, really want to thank you for coming about here. And uh, tell us a little bit about your custom builds and, uh, you know, what your customers like. Uh, well, down at JDA, we all have a manufacturing background. We have full machine shop, water jets, machining centers, turning centers. So virtually anything we could do, we contribute to our builds. Our customers, I really emphasize going with a, the KISS theory, keep it simple, stupid. And the whole reason being, a lot of times too much is going to be too much, nice and simple, nice and clean. We really love those builds. Um, all four bikes we brought in all have complete different themes, different colors, fat tires, skinny tires, chrome, paint, so virtually Anything I brought, it shows different characteristics of what we really can do and what we can do for our customers. And, you know, I really appreciate the opportunity JDA had with Bob and all the other guys from the Ultimate Builder competition. And, of course, everybody from Advanced Star, too. I've been dealing with Advanced Star for many years, and there's going to be many more years to come with both the Ultimate Builder and with Advanced Star. Well, we really like hearing that. Um, you know, we, we want to hope to see you again next year and maybe at some of our other shows. Do you think there's a possibility we'll get to see some of your builds in Daytona? Uh, very good possibility. Uh, next week we will be down in Chicago, our hometown. 
I'll have uh, a good four bikes there and then also we'll have the booth so there's many different things you could see at our booth that you won't see on our bikes so all right, Josh, we really appreciate you taking the time to be here and the extra effort you put into supporting our show. Thanks again. Thank you, Bob. I really appreciate it. Troy? Um, Josh was uh, talked to me a little while before the show started. Said he had some bikes to bring down. He wanted to support our show. Well, yeah, he brought some bikes down, all right. He brought down four bikes, and they were all one as good as the other. The unbelievable quality bikes. First time ever somebody took runner-up through third position and fourth position. So, Josh, I um, really want to thank you for coming about here and uh, tell us a little bit about your custom builds and uh, you know what your customers like. Um, well, down at JDA, we all have a manufacturing background. We have full machine shop, water jets, machining centers, turning centers. So virtually anything we could do, we contribute to our builds. Our customers, I'd really emphasize going with the, the KISS theory, keep it simple, stupid. And the whole reason being, a lot of times, too much is going to be too much. Nice and simple, nice and clean. We really love those builds. Um, all four bikes we brought in all have complete different themes, different colors, fat tires, skinny tires, chrome, paint. So virtually anything.